top of the morning top of the morning welcome back to the channel hope you're all having a fantastic day so far i know i am beautiful day here in sunny palm springs california today i kind of wanted to make a little video just to kind of help out some people that might be a little newer to the cigar scene i know we don't have the largest walk-in humidor in the world but for those that are kind of newer to cigars and they don't really know what they're looking at we do often hear that they're a bit overwhelmed so it's not supposed to be like that right so i'm going to try to at least make a video real quick to the point just a good rule of thumb for you to kind of follow if you're brand new to cigars and you're just not sure where to start right so i'm also going to try to not give too much information because i'm not trying to do like information overload it's literally just going to be basic good rule of thumb should work for just about everyone that's new so starting off what you're going to look for because you see all these different cigars right well, what's something you notice? Probably that some of them are a bit lighter, just by appearance, right? And then some might appear to be a little bit darker. So I'm not gonna go through all the different wrapper names because there's a ton, but a good rule of thumb is if you just stick with a Connecticut wrapped Robusto size cigar, you should be okay. Preferably something that's Dominican. Dominican tobacco is a little bit lighter on its own. But again, biggest thing is going to be you just stick with something lighter and shorter. That's it. I have a good example, actually, and I do enjoy these. These are fantastic, like, breakfast cigars. I probably wouldn't recommend that you smoke first thing in the morning if you're new with cigars. Might shoot your day in the foot a bit. But something like this, right? I love Diamond Crown products. J.C. Newman, I really respect those guys they're doing good work always have but these diamond crown products are phenomenal this is like four and a half by 52 four and a half by 54 so easy smoke right this is you know you're talking dominican tobacco which is already lighter and then a connecticut wrap which is you know see how light this guy is pretty light right so yeah smooth creamy sweet this is going to be a cigar that's not going to really like scare you off, right? Or scare them off if you're, you know, maybe you're trying to pick up a cigar for someone. Maybe it's your friend and they don't smoke very often. You know, please don't. I know. Yeah, look, I have got a lot of friends I like to mess with, right? But when it comes to cigars, just get them something that you know you're going to like. Otherwise, you're going to give them the spins and they're going to feel sick. And then everyone loses, right? The industry loses a potential customer. And then you just like ruined your friend's night, right? So just stick with something that's light, something sweet, something small, and make sure that someone's having a good experience with their cigar. Because that's the thing nowadays. There are so many options for cigars. There is something for everyone. And I mean everyone. You just kind of have to take some time and find it, right? I know personally, I love the Caesars. I don't find these to be too heavy. But if you're brand new and just starting out, I probably wouldn't start there just yet. Although that is my all-time favorite Diamond Crown product. I like them more than even the Maximus. I will say that there is a cigar that, to me, this is like a rite of passage, okay? And I think a lot of you would agree. Ashton Classics. You're talking, I don't know anyone personally in the industry that's not smoked one of these. Especially, you know, again, if you're the newer guy, this is a Corona, right? That's just the size. Easy, thin gauge, shorter smoke sweet creamy you know the drill these are just real easy smokes won't give you a hard time won't give you that spinny feeling right i still encourage everyone you know rather they're you know newer or even maybe they've been smoking for all but now they're trying to branch down to more of a full body cigar don't smoke a cigar on an empty stomach make sure you got some food in you first right and also don't you know i know obviously cigars pair really well with certain spirits but that's probably not something you should be going for right off the bat, right? Just, just get yourself a drink that you like, right? Sit down there with a nice light cigar and take your time. It's not a rush, right? The whole point is for it to be very therapeutic and relaxing. So if you're sitting there trying to, you know, suck down this cigar as fast as you can and you didn't have any food that day, you know, you're smoking this cigar on an empty stomach, like you're going to have a bad time. You're just kind of asking for it. You know, and this is a fantastic cigar too, right? Very light, but it's getting a little bit on the bigger side, right? You're almost a 660 with these Cabaguans. It's not quite, but it's getting close. And although it's light, it's going to be too much smoke for someone that's new. 
So again, the name I would probably stick with, you know, maybe there's a guy, you know, in the shop that you see and you're just like, hey, I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm new to cigars. I don't really know too much about them, but I think I should stick with something Connecticut, Dominican tobacco, preferably, and around a Robusto size. If you can just tell your local tobacconist that information, he should definitely be able to help you, right? Obviously, the brands are going to, you know, vary a little bit, but again, it's just a rule of thumb. Connecticut, short, maybe a Robusto size, something around there. It can be a Petite Robusto, it can be a Corona, whatever you feel is appropriate for you. And, you know, the Maduros are fantastic. Yeah, definitely don't, you know, just rule them out altogether. But if you're new, just, you know, start light, get your feet wet. See how you like it. Try to see if you can pick the flavors out of it and see if it's something that you actually enjoy the taste of. Because that's a large part of the experience as well as the actual flavor of that cigar. I even, you know, just to kind of help people out. Like I make little special variety packs almost specifically for newer people. You know. All kind of, you know, it's not based on how many cigars, but the types of cigars, right? So imagine this guy, right? You get a nub, you get the Alec Bradley American Classic there, El Septimo, a little Cusano. So lighter cigars, but they're all very different blends, right? So maybe one of them, just flavor-wise, you kind of prefer. And here's the other thing, too. Once you find that cigar, save the ring, right? So all the cigars, just about all of them, not like a lot of bundle sticks or some cheaper ones, but you'll notice these are rings. Some people call them bands, rings, doesn't matter. But you're going to take that off, right? You're not going to smoke that. So you're going to take that off, save it if it's a cigar that you like, or just take a picture. Do one of those two things when you go into that shop next time. You know, maybe you, maybe they helped you out, right? You were new. They got you a bunch of different cigars. You went home over a course of a couple weeks, smoked through, you know, a handful of them, and you found one that really worked out for you. Just take a picture of that ring or take the ring in itself and tell them, hey, this is what works for me, right? And then from there, you're pretty much good because then you know a cigar that always works well for you, right? And then you come around, you're like, ooh, what is this, right? And then you can start trying different things and you can pick up some different options, but you know what's going to work well for you, right? So maybe you try this Padron de Masso and you're like, eh, not really my jam, but that's okay because there's a thousand other Connecticut options to try and you know what works well for you. Obviously not every cigar you're going to try is going to be the best, but over time you will gradually learn a little bit more and more about cigars every time you smoke one and eventually you'll be able to walk in any humidor and kind of help yourself. Yeah, some of the El Septimos might even be really good. Again, smaller sizes, lighter blends. These are really good too. I do like the El Septimos. Got out of these guys. These were also really good. So yeah, there is no shortage of Connecticut cigars. But if you're just newer to cigars, right, and you're not too sure where to start, it's okay. Believe me, every single person that's ever smoked a cigar was in your shoes at some point, right? And that's, you know, part of the whole experience. It's part of learning. Just go in, right? Honestly, most people I meet in cigar shops, they're extremely nice, respectful, professional, welcoming, right? And that's what we really try to promote through the whole industry. We definitely promote it here at the shop. So just go in and be like, hey, I'm a little bit newer. I just need something mild, something light, Connecticut wrapped, Robusto size, boom. They're going to be able to give you so many great places to start, and you're going to hit the ground running with something that has like a 90% success rate with you, right? You'll get a nice meal, sit down, smoke that cigar, you know, and the rest is going to kind of work itself out. But that's just kind of what I wanted to say. If you're new, it's okay. Just give it a shot, walk in there, ask for some assistance. That's totally okay. There's never been a better time to get into cigars. I know that might sound like a, you know, a sales pitch, but there are so many cigars nowadays and the quality has gone up exponentially that honestly, 
if you're willing just to try to, you know, say you try 10 different cigars, I can almost promise you that one of those you're going to absolutely fall in love with. There are some Im extremely impressive blends, just all the different, like the Corojos, the Sumatras, right? There's a lot of these nuanced flavors in these wrappers that, you know, just when you think things couldn't get any better, these companies and these blenders are coming out with some absolutely phenomenal options. Yeah, cigars, pipe tobacco too. Something that's definitely made a positive impact on my life. Brings me a lot of joy. That's why I like, you know, take so much pride in trying to help people out here and make them, you know, feel the way I do about certain cigars. I know it sounds pretty dramatic, but man, you ever have like a, just a little bit of an off day, right? You sit down with the right spirit and the right cigar. Man, that is the bee's knees right there. So yeah, I think that's about the best information I can give someone that's new to the cigar scene. You know, just be open to options, ask for help, tell them you want something light, mild, preferably a Connecticut, preferably Dominican, or boost those size. Do those things, get a good meal in you, smoke that cigar, you should have a good time. Appreciate all you watching, appreciate the support. If there's a cigar that you think would be make a fantastic first cigar for someone, just leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. We're in a, you know, a hot spot for tourism. Like we're on the strip here in Palm Springs, right? So we get a lot of people that come in and you know, they're very irregular smokers, right? It might be a wedding or a baby shower or they're once a year playing golf with their friends, right? So we sell a lot of Connecticut wrapped cigars in general and just mild cigars in general. So I know we might have some more options than maybe your local shop, but I can guarantee you if your local shop has a walk-in humidor, there are some smaller Connecticut options that you can definitely give a go. Again, I wouldn't worry too much about the brand or the name up front. I just gave you a kind of a couple to go with, but I think you'll be all right. And at some point, you can work your way down to these guys. Tatawahe Grand Kahonu, one of my all-time favorite tots. A lot of spice, a lot of pepper. Just a phenomenal smoke. But that's later down the road. you got a thousand light cigars to try first. Best of luck to you. Hope the best. And I hope this video helped you out at least a little bit. Appreciate you watching. Have a fantastic day.